Hey guys, Scott here from Guitar Is Great. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate that. I'm um, gonna do a little reggae lesson. We, uh, we're gonna learn how to just scratch. Probably the easiest uh, reggae rhythm you could do. Just takes a little bit of practice to mute the strings. Um, thanks to all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button down, uh, down there somewhere. Um, and then let's check this out. So, I think the scratching, so I think the scratch rhythm is really cool and it's really unique and it's um, very percussive. And um, I'm going to show you an easy way which is just going like this. And all I'm doing is just holding my fingers on the strings to mute them. We don't want to push down any of the strings. Um, I have a, I'm on the, um, I'm on the bridge pickup here and um, I got some reverb on and just not much delay but a pretty good amount of reverb so I'm um, just hitting these always like I say always these thinner strings here just practice the you know barely touching the strings um, and staying in time And trying to move your uh, fretting around a little bit when you're practicing um, a good a good um, little progression would be this like B to E to F and if you listen difference you don't have to push the strings you can still hear that chord so um, then if you want to step up that a little bit you can kind of try to maybe just get two strings to ring out maybe with that scratch thing to think about is like don't be afraid to use a heavy hand when you pick it it gives it more of a that more pronounced of that percussive sound it's really cool um, so I'm kind of jumping ahead um, into this the little bit harder way to do it would be to do a double chop like this I think it sounds way cooler, it gives it a little bit more character and um, a little bit extra rhythm. And I'm just going down on the thin strings and then up on probably just the first two strings here. You can hear that high E string squeak out sometimes. That's uh, something you want to practice, which I, I'm always practicing, so never want to say I'm perfect by any means. Just trying to demonstrate a little bit. Okay. So just an idea for you to think about. A little bit of muting. 
very cool stuff. Um, you gotta always be up on your rhythm game. I know it's fun to practice solos and stuff all the time, but uh, the rhythm I think is just as equally important and it, you can really make it a lot of fun if you want. Uh, so thanks for stopping by, really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do that. Comments, questions, all kinds of stuff like that in the comment section down below. Thanks, have a great day.